Hi everyone, Angie Courtright, Star Director of Team Leap of Faith. I am going to do a quick video for all of you to uh, show you how I do my samples of um, each cent of the month. I make monthly samples to hand out. And I wanted to give my team some ideas on how to do this quickly and efficiently. And so I thought that I would walk everyone through my process today. Um, I prefer, now there are many ways to do samples from um, felt strips to cutting them with a crinkle cutter or um, tons of different ways. But this is what works well for me in my busy schedule. And um, if I don't use a crinkle cutter to do them, um, I, I do warm them and melt them into molds. Um, I use this Wilton chocolate um, melter and I got it at Michael's and because I don't pay full price for anything, of course I had a coupon. So if this is something that you are interested in doing, um, look on their website or on one of their mailers for a uh, coupon so you can save a certain percentage off. Um, it was very affordable and um, I use it for my business so obviously it's a it's a business expense and even better that I can get it at a discount so on the inside of this it's just a warming plate and also um, a silicone type you can see it's very easy to um, manipulate and squeeze it's just a, like kind of like our silicone molds that you can find in the Cincy family store um, it's just like that silicone insert that fits down into there. And what I like about this is it has little sides that you can pour out of. So you're not trying to, um, you're, so you're, tr I try not to make a mess and notice that I did say try, but I like that has the pouring edges and the little spouts on the side that make pouring your wax once it's melted, uh, a little more easy so it can go into the mold. So I put that down in there. I turn it on to high. And I, here is this um, scent of the month for May. It is called Pacific Daydream and it smells heavenly, fresh and clean. Like you're sitting at the ocean and it goes great with our Road Less Travel Warmer, which is um, the cutest little retro camper ever. It's already been a huge seller. My customers love it, I love it. And this actually is going in our camper and I have seen some really fun ideas that people have displayed this in their house and decorated it and it is just selling like crazy. So I'm very excited about that for this month. I take the bar and um, just plop it right down in there. You don't have to break it apart, but you can if you want. And I will let it sit. I am going to start a timer and give you an idea about how long this might take. And I will come back to the video in just a few. Okay, everyone. I thought that while we're waiting on it to finish melting that I would give you a few more tips on what I do with my samples. So I have a bunch of different styles of molds to choose from when I'm doing my samples. I really do love the um, silicone molds that come in the Cincy Family Store and those are great because they come in the shape of the bar and the star and they're really um, easy to work with. I also like some of these that I have found in different places like Hobby Lobby and Michael's. Addie, stop please. Thank you. I know, but we have to be good when we're doing videos, okay? And I, um, I like these because again, I can buy them with coupons. But um, this one is one of my favorite. It's um, a little, I'm trying to see if it has a name, but it doesn't. It's just a little... Um, hexagon type mold and I can make a ton I think there's like a hundred and that doesn't say almost of course done, almost done melting there's like 120 or so little hexagons in here that I can really make a ton of samples with and I use those um, I can put one or two or however many I want three little hexagons in a baggie in a sample baggie that looks like this um, that I got um, in the craft section at Walmart. I think that you get a hundred for two bucks and don't even think about it. And that looks like a hexagon. 
on that little that one. That one looks like a hexagon too. And then I put the um, scent of the month stickers that come in your scent and warmer of the month kits on the baggie. Just as a great way to label it. And um, I also attach it to one of my sample business cards that... Um, I know it's hard to see, but it just has my contact information on there. And then it says, enjoy a free sample of, and then that makes no stop. And then I can fill in, um, wax is what I put on this one just because it has the label. Please don't touch on the back um, of the sticker. It has the scent that it is. If I don't have any scent of the month stickers or I'm doing just a regular scent, whether it be sugar cookie, blueberry cheesecake, or something like Luna that we offer all the time that doesn't have um, a scent of the month sticker, although you can purchase the stickers, I will write, enjoy this free sample of Luna wax. And um, I attach them to there. I stick these in my purse, in my um, backpack, and I hand them out everywhere I go. You need to get down. No, I need to. Then you sit there and be good. And, um, what I also like to use is this cute little um, mold that has shapes of stars on it. And I use those when I do the scent of the month. I always make um, one set of the scent of the month and I attach it to the scent of the month flyer. And it's just a cute little way to display whatever the scent and warmer, or I attach it to the warmer of the month flyer. But it's just a great way to display the scent and it's in the shape of a star, which is fun for Scentsy consultants. Um, you know what that means. So um, those are the different types of scent or mold molds that I use for my samples. Um, like I said, I can usually bang them out pretty quickly and um, quite efficiently. So I do like to start, like I said, um, using this bigger sample uh, mold to make at least a set of 16 with this, and I can hand those bigger size samples out to um, people that I need and that I'm gonna give a sample of the scent of the month. These little hexagons are a lot easier for mailing purposes because they are um, flat, especially if you don't fill up the um, mold all the way. And these are the ones that I give to hand out to people that I see in person. So. Just different ways to do it based on what um, you're trying to achieve and who you're sending them to. Now it looks like all but one little, um, one tiny little spot is completely melted and I will be ready to pour my samples. And I will check my timer and it has been, oh, I hit too many buttons. It has been, 19 minutes for it to completely melt. So in that 19 minutes, um, if you watch it, it melts more quickly. Not really. So when I melt it, I always try to find something else productive to do than to sit here and wait for it to melt. Um, so I actually did go start a load of laundry and I checked the mail and I did a few other things around my house, but it's a great time to use that 20 minutes to um, label all of your warmer of the month flyers or go ahead and fill out those little business cards with um, the, the kind of scent that you're making or whatever. So you can utilize that 20 minutes um, to the fullest and find something else for your business to do. So here in a second, once I let my dog out, I will be sure to show you exactly how I pour these into the molds and officially make my samples. Hi. Hello, and we are back. Honey, please be careful so you don't fall. We just got the... Um, molds out of the freezer and as you can see as you can see they are solid and you can also see they really come out of the molds quite easily when they are frozen and they'll fall right out um, so these I just kind of wiggle this around a little bit and they all drop so those stars that I did were super easy um, this is the little hexagon I need you to back up please little hexagon um, shapes I have to be careful that these don't um, drop these don't drop also. So what I do with this is like basically the concept of an ice cube tray. I wiggle it around and you can see that they're starting to, um, you know, break open like ice cubes. I tip it over um, and all but one fell out, but there you go. So I am going to um, tilt the camera down just a little bit so you can see. So 
as you can see, these little samples fall right out and they break open into individual things. Um, and then what we do from there, I'll let Addie show you. What do we do? We get little, the, those little baggies and then cut two, three, whatever you want to. Yeah, two's fine. Two of them in there at a time. And then we are able to put our scent of the month stickers on the back. And then this. And then our label and our business card for samples. And we are good to go. Um, and to tilt this right back up so you can see out of view beautiful face um you want to show them what they look like they look like those they look like those and now are you going to finish bagging the rest of them up for me the rest of the afternoon you're going to work on this for me mm -hmm. all right so that is how <laughs> that is how we make our samples and um even though you know it does take time for the bar to melt and uh it took about five minutes for them to solidify in the freezer that um it's time that we utilize to do other things for our business or for our household and so um it only took a few seconds for us to actually pour that wax into these molds to make our samples it was um no mess no fuss after i poured things out of the silicone um, dish. I wiped it clean with a paper towel and that was it. Um, that is how I, I usually make my samples and I hope that it was somewhat helpful to someone and I um, am open to answering any questions that you might have. So have a fabulous Tuesday everyone and I hope you enjoyed this training. If so, feel free to share it with your own. And if it's good. And if it's good what? It's like these. Click, oh, click like, yes. thumbs up. Yep, okay. She watches a lot of YouTube videos. Not yes. sensi related, but unboxing. So yes. um, if you like Addie's video on how to make samples, be sure to click like. Did I say it right? Yes. Okay. Um, and I hope you all have a fabulous day. Bye. Bye. Love you. Love you long time.